Uh, how does it feel to be back in Project L? Uh, kind of weird, but fun and nice. Yeah, it's been almost, almost two years. Almost yeah. two years, yeah. Because it's now it's November, and last time I think it was January of two thousand and fifteen, sixteen. Now we have some Patreon questions submitted through Patreon. Please support the project. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. What did you know or think about Lagos before Project L? Probably the usual stereotypic um, that it's I yeah only that it's like a fetish kind of thing and that it's really related to sexual sexuality and, and pornography and just basically that it's what kinky people do in their dark bedrooms by themselves. So how has that changed? Well it's yeah it's a fabric. It's and especially like when looking at the photo shoots you do with Dee it's because she actually like her style is is something that she you know I could actually like really imagine her wearing latex the the cl the clo clothes that she has she does and yeah, yeah and I bet she does because they look really good on her as well so it's it's just another fabric really uh, what would you say are the biggest pluses and minuses pros and cons with latex <laughs> pros uh it's shiny. And um, it feels kind of nice. It's it's a really different feeling from any other fabric you can you can have. And it's yeah, I think it's it, it looks nice when it's so different in a way. And and like people tend to look good in it because it kind of korosta. Um, Enhance. Yeah, enhances the figure in a way. And then the cons, well, it's not the most uh, convenient. <laughs> uh, you get hot, you get cold, you get sweaty. Um, and it's a bit of a pain to put on, but not so much. And actually, I was really surprised with this suit that because it doesn't have the zipper at all, and, and you have to go in from the neck. And it was like, pfft, you just put it on. It was really easy. What have your friends and uh, family said about <laughs> being part of Project L? Not much. They've been, like, in the beginning, um, I think there was, like, a lot of, like, so there was, they were just surprised. And, um, yeah, no, they've been quite supportive and, and like, Understanding, you know, I like. Although I, I don't think there's anything to understand really, but it's, it's not the most common hobby that one would probably have. <laughs> uh, has anyone said anything negative about the project or latex or no. the clothing to you? No, not that I could remember. Yeah. The only like the not even negative, but like some sarcastic comments maybe at work like ah oh, there she goes again in the rubber suit <laughs> like <Yeah. laughs> have you ever been like felt anything like a target while mm. wearing latex or like in, on the internet or publicly on the street on the internet yes like because i i read the comments and i get the comments and and like sometimes people find me on instagram or somewhere and i will get like follow requests or and, and I, I remember actually like some years ago, I think it was like the second or the third project or something that I did. And I would get some Facebook messages as well from, from just random people like saying, oh, you look so good in latex. Other than that, like online, yeah, sure. A couple of comments, not that bad. Uh, I think the only time I've actually noticed during the projects, the shootings, uh, that every, anybody would actually be a look looking or came to comment anything was when we did the boat trip and we were at the nightclub and even then it was like one guy who came like after 
maybe an hour or so, like really, really shy or like re re really respectful. Yeah. And just came to say like, hey, is that what I think it is? And, and like, he was just basically really supportive as well. A big part for me of the, of the experience is that because you're always there with the camera. So it's easy for me to wear this because there's the camera and that's, that's the reason why I'm wearing it. But if it was like just me wearing this, then it would be different, of course.